John Brown's statement on the Battle of Osawatomi. Early in the morning of 30th August, 1856, the enemy scouts approached Osawatomi from the west within one mile and a half. At this place, my son Frederick, who was not attached to my force, had lodged with some four other young men from Lawrence and a young Mr. Garrison from Middle Creek. The scouts, led by a pro-slavery preacher named White, shot my son dead in the road while he supposed them to be friends, by what I can learn. At the same time, they butchered Mr. Garrison and badly mangled one of the young men from Lawrence who came with my son, leaving him for dead. This was not far from sunrise. I had stopped overnight about two and a half miles off and about one mile from Osawatomie. I had no organized force with me, but had some 12 to 15 new recruits with me who were called to leave, preparing their breakfast, and follow me into Osawatomie when this news was brought to me. As I had no means of knowing correctly the force of the enemy, I placed 12 of those recruits in a log house, hoping we might be able to defend the town. I then gathered up some 15 more scattering men who had guns and started in the direction of the enemy. After going a few rods, I could see the enemy approaching the town in line of battle about half a mile off on a hill west of the village. I gave up all idea of doing more than annoy them from the timber near the town, which was filled with a thick undergrowth, but had no time to recall the twelve men placed in the log house and so lost their assistance in the fight. At the point above named, I met with Captain Klein, a very active young man, who had with him some twelve or fifteen mounted men, and persuaded him to go with me and the scattering men I had with me into the timber, on the south shore of the Osage, or Meridzian, Merez des Signes, a little to the northwest from the village. Here the men were numbered not over thirty in all, were directed to scatter and secrete themselves as well as they could and await the approach of the enemy. This was done in full view of the enemy, who saw the whole movement and had to be done with the utmost haste. I believe Captain Klein and some of his men were not even dismounted in the fight, but cannot say positively. When the left wing of the enemy had approached within common rifle shot, we commenced firing and very soon threw the northern branch of the enemy's line into disorder. This continued some 15 minutes which gave us an uncommon opportunity to annoy them. Captain Klein and men soon got out of ammunition and retired across the river. After the enemy rallied, we kept up our fire until by the illegible of one and another we had were dwindled down to seven or eight. We then retired across the river and hid ourselves or left for a distance. We had one man killed from Captain Klein's company in the fight, Mr. Powers. One of my men, a Mr. Patridge, was killed in crossing the river. Two or three of the thirty who took part in the fight are yet missing and may be lost or prisoners. Two were wounded in the fight, viz. Dr. Updegraff and a Mr. Collins. I cannot speak in too high terms of them, and of many others I have not now time to name. I, with one of my best men, were each of us struck by partially spent shot from the enemy in commencement of the fight, but were only bruised. The one I mentioned is one of the missing men. The loss of the enemy, as we learn by all different statements of their own, as well as our people, was some 31 to 32 killed, and from 40 to 50 wounded. After burning the town to ashes and killing a Mr. Williams they had taken, whom neither party claimed, they took a hasty leave, carrying off their dead piled in three wagon. They did not attempt to cross the river, nor to search for us, and have not since returned to look over their work. I give this in great haste, and in the midst of constant interruptions, my second son was with me in the fight, and got off unharmed with me after it was over. This I mention for the benefit of his friends. Old preacher White boasts of having killed my son. Of course, he is a lion.